Hi everyone, welcome to the 4-H at home gardening series. In this video, we're going to show you all about plant basics. Plants are a vital part of planet Earth. They're the beginning of the food chain, providing nourishment for both animals and people. They also make our world beautiful. Trees give shade during the summer and protect us from the wind in winter. Shrubs, vines, and flowers beautify our homes and provide a place for wildlife to live, such as birds, squirrels, and insects. Plants are also used to make clothing, medicine, and shelter for people. Some clothes are made from plants, and our ancestors used plants to dye their clothing. Long ago, people treated common illnesses with medicines, not from the pharmacy or grocery store, but from plants. And our homes are made and furnished with wood and many other plant-based materials. Plants also enhance the very air we breathe by producing the oxygen our bodies need. Without plants, we could not live. So now that you know how plants are important in our everyday life, let's move on to plant classification. Without a classification system, identifying the millions of plants in the world would be difficult. If you look in all the clothes from your rooms and threw them on the floor, it would be really hard to find anything. But if you organize your clothes so that socks are together, shirts are together, and pants are together, it is really easy to find the clothes you want. Scientists have ways of organizing plants. They look at different plant parts, such as flowers, leaves, stems, and fruits, and group together the plants that are similar. Plants are also grouped according to where and how they grow. Some plants, such as trees, live for many years. Others, such as cucumbers, live for only one season before they die. Go outside and see all the many plants in your neighborhood. Take a minute to look closely at one plant and imagine what other plants might be related to it. So how do we classify plants? In order to do that, you need to know your plant parts. A plant has many different parts working together, just like a human body. The plant roots found in the soil carry water and nutrients to the plant. The stem supports and carries water and food throughout the plant. Leaves use sunlight to make food for the plant. And flowers are usually the bright, colorful part of the plant. And when they are pollinated by insects or wind, they produce seeds, which are sometimes stored in fruit. And finally, a seed can make a new plant. So those were your six basic plant parts. And now you know how to classify plants. For example, broccoli and cauliflower are in the flower category. Melon and tomato are in the fruit category. Pretty easy, right? All right, now it's time for a fun at-home activity. Helping me out today is Emma, our teen ambassador. Howdy everyone, my name is Emma Belzun and this is my first year to be a Heroes for Health teen ambassador. Today, I am super excited to be able to show y'all how to make your very own plant person. This craft is super simple and it's a fun way to learn basic plant needs. The materials you're gonna need for this project are pretty simple. You're gonna need a tablespoon, some grass seeds, a container of any sort. You can use a mason jar or a water bottle or just even a yogurt container. You're also going to need a trowel, soil, water, sunlight, and basic materials in order to decorate your container. 
So the first step in order to make a plant person is you're gonna wanna take your nylon stocking and you're going to want to roll it up a ways and then put it around your container. This is gonna help the plant head to keep its shape. Then you're going to add two tablespoons of the grass seed into the toe of the stocking. So, here's one and two, just like that. After that's done, you're going to want to put soil in over the grass seeds and you want the head to be about the size of a tennis ball. So this might get a little bit messy, but it's still fun. Here's one, and maybe one more. There we go. Once that's done, you're going to take the nylon stocking off of the container. Make, be careful not to spill the dirt everywhere. Now, make sure that everything, the grass seeds are down in the bottom, and then you're just gonna wanna tie a knot. Just like that. Once that's done, to basically be the roots of your plant person, you're going to want to cut a little bit off of the nylon stocking. Depending on how tall your container is, you may need a little bit more or less, but I'm gonna cut off about one inch. There we go. Now you can set that to the side. Now this is what your plant person head should start off looking like. Now we can set this aside and decorate your container. You can use whatever materials you have at your house and just make it fun and exciting. Here I have a container that I already decorated. You can see I used googly eyes, some ribbon for the clothes, and just a simple marker to make the smile. Now, to, in order to take care of your plant person, you're first gonna need to water it. All plants need to be watered um, at least once daily, but just be careful not to overwater it. So I'm gonna add about an inch into my plant person. There we go. You wanna make sure that the root of your plant person can reach down into the water so it can absorb it. After that's done, plants also need a lot of sunlight. So you're gonna wanna set your plant person either on a windowsill or even outside so it can get a lot of that sun. Now. Your plant person is not going to grow a full head of hair immediately. So please don't get discouraged if it takes a while. It may take several days. But once your plant person's hair does grow pretty long, you're going to need to trim it. You can make this exciting by giving it fun haircuts like a buzz cut or a mohawk, whatever you feel is appropriate. Well, I think that's about it for this video. I enjoyed our time here today and I hope you guys did too. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Emma. I'm still working on mine, but last year a Forey student made me one, and it's still growing. It's time for a haircut though. Now, to remember what everything Emma just said, I like to use this acronym. Plant. Place. Light. Air. Nutrients. Thirsty. And soil. And after five days, this is what my plant person looked like. And after a week and a half, it was time for a haircut. Be sure to send us a picture of your plant person. Details will be in the description below. So now you know the basics of growing plants. Remember, you need a lot of care and a lot of patience. Like this basil right here. It can start as small as this and get bigger than these. And these vincas right here. These started off as seeds and look how beautiful it can get. So all this does not happen overnight. Trust me, all your time, care, and love, it'll all be worth it. For more fun activities, check out the description box below. Happy gardening. Bye. <laughs>